and I was walking out of the hospital, and I walked down a corridor, and there was a room that was the chapel, and right next to the chapel was another room for prayers, Islamic prayers. And the point was, we weren't having these prayer places in the Pentagon and in Walter Reed for extremists, they're for Americans. Mm -hmm. American soldiers and American people who work in the Pentagon and in Walter Reed. And so the center that is being proposed for here in New York City is a center that will attract Americans of all faiths. <coughs> There will be places for Christians to do things and Jews to do it's things and Muslims. Center. It's There's a community a center. Pool. There's a swimming pool. But is this hurting our so, troops, this kind of... Well, yes, I think eventually it will. Because I'm saying to myself, okay, this is a center that will attract all of our citizens to come and reflect. And yes, there will be a mosque inside for our Islamic brothers to pray. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying to myself, what is wrong with this? And does it make a difference whether it's two, three, four, five, or ten blocks away? And the answer is, if you believe in our system, and if you understand why we can do it at the Pentagon and Walter Reed, then you can't make a distinction between two, three, five, and ten blocks. So I think it should go forward. But if the people of New York and the authorities of New York, in consultation with the people who are building it, decide it ought to be four, five, or six blocks away, I don't have any problem with that. But I think the important principle is that we must go forward. The Islamic Center that President Bush went to, it was dedicated by Dwight Eisenhower in 1957. And he even said it in his dedication remarks, you know, if it takes the full power of the United States to make sure that you have the right to put a church, a religious place here, then we will do it. And he meant here in Washington, D.C. And so I think we have to be very, very careful. And it's sort of spread out beyond just the issue of the building and the mosque. There's a bit of Islamophobia now across the country in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, no mosques. Same thing in California. And because of all the attention, suddenly an unknown preacher in Florida. With, with, you know, this is, this is absurd. Nobody ever heard of this guy. But once again, the media pumped him up. Now he's on morning talk shows. What's he doing on morning talk shows? This guy should be rejected. General Petraeus is right. There are a billion Muslims who are watching this mosque issue and they're watching what's going on in Florida. Mm. And they're wondering, has America changed? Is America different? Whether he burns the Quran or not on Saturday, they already assume that America has changed if they even tolerate this kind of thing. And so I think we've got a problem. I think so we've, got to, we've got to take a deep breath. And, and politicians are using this for all kinds of purposes. We ought to get back to the basics.